individuals tend to complain about customer service in Jamaica, especially in the government. As a result of this, in 2022, the government of Jamaica launched the Service Excellence Policy to improve service delivery within the public sector and ensure customer satisfaction. The policy outlines important values and minimal requirements for all government organizations, and it also explains how service excellence will be institutionalized across all ministries, departments, and agencies. But what does it mean to improve service delivery? Hi, I'm Shaquille Rochester Shorter, and do welcome to Finance Matters. Joining us today to talk about the Ministry's improved customer service delivery is the Director of Customer Service at the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service, Mr. Rory Stennett. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow the Ministry of Finance on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and no TikTok to see all the episodes and highlights. Mr. Stene, thank you for coming on our program today. Thank you for having me. What does it mean for the Ministry of Finance to improve service delivery? All right, so improving service delivery as a government entity is very different from private sector and others. Okay. When you need services from the government, there is no one else that you can go to. And that's the benefit now to saying we need to make the citizens experience better. Citizens generally say, oh, government takes too long. It's a thing not only here, but all over the globe. Okay. So improving service delivery means how do we make life easier for citizens? How do we contract the time it takes, meaning tighten the time it takes for things to be turned around? Okay. How do we improve our responsiveness? How do we ensure that there's always high quality that first time someone wants something? I hear you keep mentioning government, government, and we are, we are the government. Sure. But Tell us about the, the investment in service delivery. So I have to go macro and then micro, right? Okay. So from the, the outset, you mentioned up top, there is a policy now instituted across government to improve service delivery. It's looking at measurement aspects of how quickly do we turn things around to quality aspects. At the Ministry of Finance, we have over 60 services that we deliver okay. to our customers, whether citizens, businesses, other government agencies. So let's take pensions, for example. Okay. Improving service delivery there operates on different levels. One level is when you call, do you get someone to talk to? And we've invested significantly in that experience. When you email, does it just get lost? Or is it cataloged? Someone is assigned to it, someone manages it to completion. Do you have a set of standards that you're held to? All of that is a part of our investment at the Ministry of Finance. And that's just one service. Okay. We have services that citizens abroad require. So if you are gonna have a change of status and you're abroad, you need to have a specific letter that comes only from the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. Okay. We have improved it now, where you have a lot more certainty. Before, it was a nebulous. You submitted something, you don't know what happened. Now we know where it is. Better tracking, better organization, so we can have a better, faster turnaround time. That's what it means when we say we're investing in that service experience. Tell us more about the standard. I know there's a um, service charter. That's right. We launched a citizen's charter. It is a set of rules and, and standards that we want citizens to hold us accountable to. So it says, for example, that when you call us, this is how long it takes to get through. When you email us or send us a letter, this is what you should expect. Okay. And if you're not getting the standards we promise, you get to hold us accountable because we are accountable to citizens. We're accountable to our customers. Okay. So if, for example, you're expecting a certain response from the scholarships team because you applied for a scholarship, you have every right to call us and say, what's going on? And there's okay. a team assigned to manage that complaint. If you are another government entity and you've submitted a, a budget proposal, you're supposed to get a response. Yes. It's a part of the services that we have. So we ensure that you are getting what you are supposed to get and we've published what those standards should be. Please hold us accountable. How long should I be on hold if I call the Ministry of Finance? Okay, you should get through within 30 seconds. That is our standard. Okay. We've instituted a brand new telephone system for our five highest volume teams in terms of the number of calls they receive to get there. Now we just put it in place. It's gonna take us a little bit to get there and you know, increase staffing, increase training, but we've made the investment in the technology and we're making the investment in the people so that we can deliver those faster response times. I hear you talking about some of the initiatives being implemented at the ministry. Are there more initiatives to ensure service guaranteed to our customers? 
so much more. Now, remember I said we have over 60 services that yeah. we deliver. Each of these undergo what's called service reviews at regular intervals. It's where we bring in a select group of customers to say, this is what we're doing. Help us know if we're on the right track. Okay. More of our services are getting automated. More of them are going to be on our online platform, so you can access them for yourself. Okay, nice. Public sector workers, for example, are now able to go onto the ministry's website, go onto our platform, and request assistance. Not just, you know, mental health type services okay. for more teams. So you can start there. These are things available to the public today because we've nice. invested in service delivery. And that's at our forefront as a ministry because we're driven by service excellence, Mr. Stenet. That's right. But before we go, I wanted to tell our viewers three things that they should remember about service delivery at the Ministry of Finance. Sure. So number one, we have a new citizen's charter that customers can use to hold us accountable. Okay. It is your guide to see this is what you should get. Now, it's a work in progress. I can't tell you that we're perfect, but we are going there. It's regular public servants like you and me. We're trying to get these services delivered and we are dedicated to saying to customers, this is what you can expect. Yes. Number two, we will continue to invest in the citizen experience, the taxpayer experience, which means you can expect that we're going to keep putting money in where our mouth is. Okay. We're going to recognize and train staff who are doing very well when it comes to that. And we want the public to be aware that we, if you think someone is doing a good job, tell us. Yes. Because that's the behavior we can highlight to change the culture. And number three, it is important for citizens to take away or taxpayers or businesses to take away that we are open for business at the ministry. It is tempting to think we're just about taxes or just about the budget. Yes. But there is so much there. So when you look at what we have, you know, from micro, small, medium enterprises, scholarship applicants looking to fulfill their dreams, the pensioner who's worked in public service all your life, to so many more people with tax disputes. We do so much. So when you come to the ministry, just know that there is likely something for you. Yes. And we're happy to serve. Yes. Well, Mr. Stennett, thank you for being on our program. All I can hear you saying is that the ministry is available to do business with the public. That's right. We're, we're here to serve. We're at their service. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Finance Matters. Remember to follow us on social media at MOF Jamaica and tune in next week as we continue to demystify the economic and fiscal policies and initiatives implemented by the government to empower Jamaicans as we chart a path to Jamaica's economic prosperity.